Yeah, I got time, bro. good you guys nwa here nurse pat i just figured i'd show you guys sort of a day in the life on a typical day off for me so usually on my weekends off uh, one of the nice things about float pool is i could really get the schedule that i want so seniority and all that isn't as much of an issue i do get myself schedules and i do get usually the holidays and vacations that i request so anyways Typically when I have two or more consecutive days off, I go back home to my parents' place because not only they're there, but my girlfriend also lives around there. So it's about a little a little more than an hour away from here. Um, a little bit of drive, but you know, the way I see it, people be commuting to work every day like an hour plus, so it's whatever. So today is a Friday. What I plan to do today in terms of my agenda is to work out get some ingredients to make some dinner with my girl so we're gonna be making some sous vide style steaks um, if you don't know what sous vide is it's basically a precision cooker I'll show you uh, my box here I actually got this a while ago so it's basically this stick thing that you put into water and you set the temperature and it makes that water stay at the temperature for a long time so it's a slow process and basically like say for steaks, if you like a medium rare, you would put it at like, you know, 135 degrees and cook it for like two, three hours. It makes a steak like perfect, like juicy as hell. Uh, I'm gonna show you that. And then um, afterwards you use your pan fryer, grill it just to get like the nice sides. Um, something I'm gonna try today is the blowtorch. I bought a blowtorch off Amazon, but I still need to buy some butane fuel for that. I just really like the aesthetic of seeing people blowtorch their food. I don't know why, but it looks fun. I wanted to do it. And I really feel like it makes steaks get on another level. So something I was about to do today is I got these little carbon fiber looking covers for like the inner console area here. But it doesn't look as cool as I, I thought it would, you know, like in pictures on like Amazon, like, they always make it look better than what it is. So it doesn't really give me that, that premium feel. And some of the fitment is a little bit slightly off. Kind of looks a little cheap in my opinion. So probably gonna return that. And then these little side pieces, they don't even, they don't even fit like the way that I want to. You'd have like this silver sticking out. So not feeling that probably gonna return these unfortunately don't want to waste my money but yeah all right y'all so i'm back at my parents place i stopped by the stores real quick picked up a few things for tonight's dinner i have new york sirloin steak here on deck got some more just in case uh, my family and parents uh, want to try it i have these little bite-sized potatoes they already come with a little seasoning triple washed already super easy I have some Brussels sprouts here for another side dish that I'm gonna make. And I wanna try to make a chimichurri sauce for the first time. So I got some cilantro, some parsley, and I already have some other ingredients that are already back home here. Some butter for the steak. My torch came in, so I'm real happy about that. And I got the fuel for it. Debating whether or not I wanna marinate some of the steaks with red wine, but we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll do half half or something. This is my little sister's dog, Suzu. She's a family dog. Right now I'm home alone. I don't know where my, my dad's at, mom's at work, and the kids, they're at school, so she's the one who greets me. He goes a little too crazy sometimes. Help me, help me. Huh. Huh. All right, so I'm about to eat my first meal for today. It's sort of like a brunch because I was driving and out running errands. Uh, so I'm pretty damn hungry right now. What I decided to eat today is I wanted to try out these uh, instant oatmeal protein versions by Quaker. I've never seen these before, so I was pretty interested how it has protein. It's whey protein ISO. As a kid, I've always liked oatmeal. Uh, some people might not. They might think it's disgusting, but to me, I think it's good. It's nice and healthy. It has sugars, but I'm going to use those sugars to work out anyways. Taste test.
Okay. Okay, I see you, Quaker. Smoke weed every day. It's honestly it tastes exactly the same as a non-protein version. So if you like those, then give those a try. So I'm just gonna eat this real quick, let it digest, and then get ready to work out. All right, y'all, so I was doing a little research on sous vide this specific type of steak. This is a New York sirloin. Um, and I came across this one YouTube channel. They're called a sous vide something, sous vide life or something like that. And they look like they know what they're doing. Cheers. Mm. This one deserves a second of silence. They did a comparison with sous vide uh, with like a dry rub seasoning versus like a whole ass marinade. And for this specific type of meat and cut, they recommended going with the dry. And then I also found out that when you're sous vide using alcohol might not be the best idea because typically when you do cook alcohol, uh, the alcohol burns off um, and it comes out of there. But with a sous vide, you're basically going to have the meat in a bag and it's stuck in there. So the alcohol isn't able to evaporize. So it might give some super strong flavors that might not be that great. So I decided not to go with the red wine. I'm just going to be using this regular Montreal steak seasoning, some garlic salt, because me and Jenny, we really like garlic and a little bit of soy sauce. I'm just gonna put a little bit. I know like they want it dry, but I just like soy sauce on my steaks. So I really feel like it'll still be okay. I just pat it dry before putting it in the bag. So yeah, I'm gonna hit him with that datu puti. Hello, Filipino. It's gonna be good. All right, so the first step is make a bunch of little holes with a fork here. Pretend it's like your enemy. You try to turn them into SpongeBob. Just make a bunch of holes, just so that you'll get a little bit more flavor inside when you're marinating. Just like that. I'm gonna go in with the seasonings here. It's gonna be hella good. I already know. So I'm basically gonna have this sitting in the fridge marinating while I work out. Look! 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 look. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Oh, and make sure you wash your hands because hand hygiene. Did you wash your hands? Stop it up! So this is gonna be my top set. What I got on here right now is 310. Um, and next week, I'm gonna try to go for a PR at 325. Uh, so last time I was trying to go for a PR, the mistake I made was that when I did this 310, um, I just went all out because, I don't know, I just felt good. And I did three reps. Uh, so this time, I just wanna get one good solid rep. And even though I can do more, I'm gonna keep it like that. Um, now it's been a while since I picked up the weight on uh, front spots this heavy, so I'm just gonna hype myself a little bit right now. I'm hella weird for this, but this is actually apple cider vinegar and water. What? And it's something I used to drink right before like my top set, and it's it's hella nasty. If you, if you guys ever tried it. Oh, 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 oh this smell! Oh my god! Oh my god! But when I started taking this just for my acid reflux, like I was finding that whenever I drink this, I would get like super shocked and woken up like right away because it's just so nasty and sour. Um, so sometimes people would see me drink this. I know in my powerlifting gym, people thought it was hella weird because it smells and tastes disgusting. But 
I feel like it helps me get a little height before my lift. And you know, there's a ton of health benefits of this. It's good for you, so I figured why not. So I'm just gonna take a shot of this right before my set. Fucks with this song. It's called Family Ties with Kendrick and Baby Keem. Um, so I'm gonna leave that on while I do my set. Hopefully YouTube doesn't doesn't cut it out from copyright. That would be super annoying. I think there's a 50 50 chance it will, but YOLO. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. That was 310 for a single. I'm pretty sure death was okay. Um, it didn't move as fast as I wanted it to, but it is what it is. I could have done probably one or grinded out a possible third, but definitely not the move I wanted to make because I made that mistake last time. So hopefully, conserving my central nervous system for next week, I'll be able to do a new PR for you guys. This Oski. Like Alright you guys, so I basically put the steaks in the Ziploc bags here. Preferably BPA free, just to have the peace of mind. Uh, some people they do vacuum seal bags, but ain't nobody got the money for that. So I have the setup here. You basically get like a, a deeper pot and you put water in it. What the sous vide precision cooker does is it keeps the water at a certain temperature and it slow cooks it. So I'm going to put these in there and have it towards uh, 135 degrees only and cook it for two hours and then after that I'll do the blur touch. Alright so basically the meat's going to be submerged in the water for two hours and it's going to stay at 135 degrees. So you can change the degrees based on what type of steak you want. 135 will be sort of towards medium rare to like medium well, so that's what I'm going for. <laughs> I like this Oski. Alright, so the sous vide is done now. It's been about two hours with it being 135 degrees. I already made the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts here. They look hella good. And then I made a chimichurri sauce already. And that tastes, you know, honestly, it doesn't taste like chimichurri sauce, but it tastes good. So I think it'll still be okay with the steak. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the steak out of the bags, pat it dry, put a little bit of butter on there, and then get the little torch action. So glad this works, my God. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. It looks kind of weird because after the sous vide, like the outside part, it's not necessarily like cooked or seared. So I have the torch here to sear it up. I uh, put some butter on it already. So let's see how it goes. All right, so I got them all seared up with the torch look a lot nicer now. Let's see what it looks like inside. Look at that. Nice and juicy. Good made, medium rare. Yeah. Damn, boy. Damn, I ate a lot. I had like seconds and thirds. What do you think, babe? It's really good. I really like. <laughs> I really like the sauce with the, um, the steak. Very good with the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts. That chimichurri sauce, first time mm -hmm. making it. Pretty good. Ten out of ten. I hope so. No, okay. Okay. <laughs> My girlfriend Janie's back home now. She had to do something with her sister. Uh, I didn't show too much footage of her because she's still a little camera shy. Uh, I don't blame her. So I might. 
Um, so I got Suzu here because she's not camera shy. Hmm. Anyways, uh, today basically after we ate, we just chilled, played some games, and then uh, tonight. Uh, so there's still some time during the day. It's like 11:30. So I'm probably gonna do a little bit of a uh, EKG rhythm studying. Um, so that I could get prepared for the ED. By the time you see this video, I'd probably have the, the video out now that I am going to be transitioning to the emergency room on the on October 4th. So definitely excited about that. We'll keep y'all updated with that. Um, I still need to edit that video. I'm probably like a third of the way done. Editing is so time consuming, but you know, I do enjoy it. I just wish I had more time for it. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that's happened, anything in regards to working out, what I cooked, and all that. As always, stay safe, stay humble, I'm out. <laughs>